It's Friday. That means the weekend's right around the corner. Get excited for tomorrow and Sunday's workout. They are some good ones. I know because I made them. So our workout today on Friday is going to be five rounds for time, 12 alternating dumbbell burpee sumo deadlifts, which is basically a devil's press without swinging the weight up overhead. And then 24 push-ups followed by 24 dumbbell push presses. So again, it's five rounds all the way through of those three movements I just said. Your goal is gonna be do this in under 18 minutes. The cap is going to be 23 minutes. So again, your goal is to finish this in 18. So that means in order to get those five rounds and you have to average about three to three and a half minutes of round to hit the goal time. To get under the cap, you have to average just under five minutes around to complete it, okay? So you can just kind of take that if you're an analytical numbers person um, and use that to your advantage throughout the workout, try to keep pushing you to keep that pace. So the 12 alternating dumbbell burpee sumo deadlift. Today he's gonna start with that dumbbell in one hand. He's gonna put both hands to the ground. He's gonna kick his feet back and let his belly flop all the way to the ground. He's gonna warm up and shift his feet over towards the dumbbell. Before he stands, he's making sure his back is nice and flat. His hips are still above his knees, which is great. And then he's gonna stand that weight up and lock out his hips. He can do one of two things to go down. He can either switch his hand at the top here. Now switch it back. Or he can just put that weight down on the ground, but putting it over to the other side. So now his right hand will grab it, he'll go down, do a burpee, pop his feet up towards the dumbbell, stand up, and then that would be his second rep. So again, you're alternating hands back and forth every time at six each side, 12 in total. Because you don't have to do that swing, your heart rate's not gonna get up as high, and just simply the range of motion is gonna be shorter. So we want you to be thinking about going faster on these than you normally would with your devil's presses. The second movement, push-ups. Goodbye, dumbbell. Hands are coming to the ground. If you need to grab an elevated surface because we're not quite there yet for doing that full push up on the ground from our feet, feel free to get a box, a chair, something like that. Any type of elevated surface, maybe between 20 to 30 inches. You can also go to your knees. So you notice when Dave is on his knees, from his knees up to his shoulders is one straight line, his entire push up. He's keeping his elbows tucked in tight. He's making sure his chest touches the ground, then he's getting a nice strong lockout at the top. If he's doing these from his feet, he's gonna pop up off those knees, feet are together. Same thing, except now instead of from knee to shoulders, it's from his ankles to his shoulders, stay in one straight line the whole time. 24 reps in each round. We want this to take about two to four sets. So in those earlier rounds, we want you to be doing bigger chunks, so maybe two or three sets. Then as the workout goes on, when we get into the later rounds, maybe it's taking us three or four sets to complete the 24 push-ups now. No problem, do what you gotta do there. Next is the all saying, or not all saying, excuse me, just the dumbbell push presses. It's 24 total, 12 each arm. They don't have to be unbroken necessarily, but we highly encourage you to try to stay unbroken, getting 12 on one arm before moving on to 12 on the other. So Dave has that dumbbell in his right hand here. He's gonna get us a nice little dip down in those heels where his butt travels straight down and his knees go forward and out just a little bit, keeping his foot flat. He's gonna snap his knees and his hips out, and that's gonna pop the dumbbell off the shoulder and he's gonna finish with that strong lockout right overhead where his wrist is stacked over his elbow which is stacked over his shoulder his biceps going right to the ear and everything's nice and lined up after he does 12 on one side he would switch to 12 on the other and once he gets 12 on both sides he would start his next round so again five rounds through of those three movements 18 minutes or under is your goal 23 minute cap have fun